Okay. Uh, because most of the time, when when you are talking about like the traditional uh, disinfectant, which is basically bleach and uh, alcohol, uh, the issue with them is like uh, they don't have this like uh, persistent disinfection. So once you apply it, it's really good. Okay, it can disinfect. But like uh, immediately after an, a minute, okay, the ne next person who touch it will basically contaminate. Okay. Now, uh, the, the, the main thing is that we use like this um, uh, special type polymers. Both polymers are actually FDA and EPA approved. Uh, they are actually used in a lot of food, food products, okay? And then the way that we did is that we did redeploy them. Basically, like uh, we reassemble them in a certain way to make them more effective, okay? How do they uh, disinfect like the microorganism? This is by disrupting the uh, outermost coating on the uh, on the microorganism, so the envelope and sometimes the proteins. Okay, so it will disrupt that. Once it's dis disrupted, okay, a lot of time microorganism will then uh, uh, get broken, and then part of the biomolecule can come out, and then that is furthermore uh, uh, disrupted. Okay. It had an anti-adhesive property to prevent any adhesion of the microorganisms. So you prevent colonization of the surfaces. So most of the time, like the, a lot of disinfection, use only one single pathway or, or actually uh, look only at particular bio compartment to, to attack, okay? And that can lead to resistance and, and tolerance. But this one, because it's more general, Okay, in its uh, in its pathway, and then we are using multiple pathway to disinfect, so it's less likely to do that. Now, um, they, they uh, a lot of the viral study, the uh, the the company had done it with partnership with uh, either like um, a commercial entity for testing, or for example with uh, with Guangzhou State Key Lab or with the uh, Sendai Virus Lab. So most of the viral study we cannot do it in HKUST because we don't have medical school okay uh the the, the main thing is like uh, most of the viral study uh, one of the viral study that they are using is using uh a feline calisi virus uh, which is basically usually is a gold standard when uh, when people talk about disinfection because they cannot use the actual virus that they are trying to emulate with this norovirus uh so what happened is like if you can disinfect this most of the viruses you can actually disinfect Okay, so they use it like, like the gold standard. Now, uh, second thing, like the, you mentioned about like the, whether they are uh, safe for the environment. Uh, as I mentioned, a lot of them are already being used. Okay, I can disclose. One of them is actually using contact lens like cleansing, cleaner. Okay, other are using food packaging, correct? So, so the main thing and also the, the quantity that we use are, are very, very small. Okay, because it's very effective, so you don't need a lot of them. Okay, so I think I answered the two questions. Oh, I'll take the first one. I'll take the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I think I'll take the third question from, from TV Pearl. Uh, regarding the priority, originally because the EDB has set the re, uh, school resume day on February 20th, it has been changed a couple times. So now it gives us more ample time to put focus on uh, the other organization. And in fact, um, in the last seven days, we already set up a different task force in contact with uh, 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 like a property uh, management company, uh, Sports Institute. Um, as well as uh, uh, public transport as well. Uh, in, the, in, in, in that minute right now, we have been approached actually by MTR and New World Bus, and we have been set up a separate meeting and uh, amusement park as well. But uh, this is uh, uh, ever-changing on, 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 on an hourly basis right now. Um, I would 
really encourage um, different organizations can reach out to us so we can delegate to the appropriate uh, assist team to, uh, to, to tailor make the need and, and, and propose some uh, uh, like anti epidemic measure there. I, I hope you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can roll commercially, but priority would be still given to schools and public transport. Yes, yes, we can anything commercial, but on a limited basis. We want to put, put focus on those who need the most first. Yeah, thank you. Uh, maybe I, I can, can, I can add more yeah. about the toxicity yeah, testing. Okay. okay. Well, uh, Professor Yuan mentioned that the ingredients themselves, they are actually uh, widely used and they are uh, FDA and EPA approved. But in assembling the uh, product itself, we also have done some additional laboratory and animal testing to verify that the products themselves will not pose any harm to human beings. Uh, in the labs, we use different kinds of cells, like lung cells, skin cells, to make sure there's no adverse reactions. And also, we did the animal experiments, uh, like irritation on the skin and uh, everything works out really well and uh, we did not find any uh, reaction at all. Anyway.